Yeah, it's Jewel Angle, <laughs> Davey. Jewel Angle, where am I? Welcome <laughs> to episode 40. The Hello. last episode. Yeah, of man. The lockdown companion. We made it. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's an achievement or not, but we made it to really 40. 40 seems a lot. 40 seems a hell of a lot of episodes, given, again, that we've spoke about this a million times, but the estimates that we put on originally were yeah, like, right. will we get to nine episodes? Will we get to 12? Insane. And here we are at 40. Insane. Plus, we've done some Where's Ollie's in the middle, yeah. where we pro- probably was still in lockdown, let's yeah. be honest. So, dude, yeah, crazy. I'm uh, I'm sort of sad to see it go, but at the same time, I'm. it's like one door no, closes right. and we're opening another one anyway. We're just... Doing yeah, the same thing with a ultimately name. it's the same shit isn't it, with a different name. Yeah, yeah. but it's inter- yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? I'm stoked to get rid of that lockdown thing, though. I don't even want to say the words. You know these words that you just say over and over again: quarantine, lockdown, vaccine. Oh, oh over them. Yeah. They stop over making them. sense. Yeah, but you have to still keep be mindful of it. I think if you want to have any sort of view on it, because that's what. Yeah, I don't know. You could argue that is what. Maybe certain. Oh, I don't know. Government's one. Maybe that you just get bored of it and you just start complying. I don't know. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. But for complying. the most part, I agree with you that I am sick of just the name lockdown. Like, let's just get rid of it. What, are you, it's not... what, what complying is there at now? Like to me, it doesn't. It, it feels normal. Other thing, other than everything's a bit shit. It's hard to travel. Hmm. I. Yeah, there's been a few things. I mean, I, uh, I mean the mask thing. That's the biggest one for me, dude. I really, and uh, again, I know we've spoken about it, and it's not hard to put a mask on. I agree. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm 100. percent It's not hard to put a mask on, but it is a thing you have to do. And ultimately, I think we most people could probably agree they don't do much, especially given that most people oh, have used the same yeah. one for a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> you know and it's been on the gear stick in the car it's in your pocket you touch it all the time you're like oh, i've got to go in the shop put my mask where's my mask oh it's over there in that puddle all good strap it on you put it down anyway because it's horrible you can't you breathe face in. id you, yeah you have to you have to open your phone so you got to take it down anyway like the, it's really funny maybe we could go down this rabbit hole a million no like, dude i'm not yeah i'm not up for it but if it makes a tiny bit of difference who cares i mean i'm, I'm fully aware they fucking realistically don't but then equally i just think yeah and i don't feel like i'm complying actually right. i don't i ultimately don't care really yeah yeah i think I for care. me right is here's here's the ultimate question for me that i keep keep mulling over and i keep considering yeah where does it stop at what point no. do we go okay let's get back to whatever normality it was. And I think that is what, if you had kids yeah. or you have kids right now and you listen to this, you, do you start going, look, maybe this thing in schools at the moment with having kids go to school in masks or that they're using plastic mm. plates or that they're not having healthcare pre- professionals come into school, which is a big one. Again, rabbit hole we could go down. The fact that they're not seeing a lot of out of school health like professionals and stuff, speech and language therapy, behavior therapists, all that sort of stuff. Kids aren't seeing them. Yeah. So if you've got kids, at what point do you go, hey, this is enough now? Like, yeah, I, I mean, that's a, that, that's a to... completely different thing even to the mask, yeah. isn't it? It's just there's yeah, so sorry, many yeah. fucking so, annoying... Sorry. Yeah, there's yeah. so many annoying things about it. But, yeah, but I, I mean, to me, I don't feel like I'm really complying really with anything, mm. to be honest. I put my mm. mask on when I go to a petrol station and it's a stinking horrible mask that's on the floor in my truck. Yeah. It just, you know, I, I don't... Like, yeah. It's not... Oh, but again, there's plenty of things you can read, people out there. Like, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, there's plenty yeah. of things you can read and podcasts you can watch. Both ways. Matt. Both ways. There's plenty exactly. both ways. This is the problem, exactly. isn't it? Fuck, what was I listening to? I was listening to Rogan, I think, talking about that Elon Musk chip. Okay, yeah. literally any argument that you look up, there's both sides. So if you've got a chip in your head that accesses information, yeah, the amount of information we have on everything, like something even in my opinion, ridiculous, like Flat mm. Earth. Mm. There's, If you just read up the information on Flat Earth that is given by a certain source that may yep. look re- reputable, you could believe that there is a solid argument that we live on a Flat Earth. Like, I personally yep. don't... 
believe it, but it's, it's that's so gnarly, isn't it? And, and I think the problem as well head. is that if you go down that rabbit hole, then you fall into an algorithm which will only show you that stuff. Exactly, and then, yeah. And, and it's then like you're like so far into it that you think, what is, you know, you, you yeah. lose track, right? Yeah, so, totally, yeah. I think... I don't want a chip uh, in my head, Davey. I don't want one. Not so uh-uh. keen on a chip in my head even, uh, mate. I'll be uh. honest with you. Nah, nah, nah. That is... I mean, I can see some of the stuff that he was talking about if someone has had spinal cord injury and yes. it's a way of, of turning on certain neurons or whatever it is, right? I Definitely, see that. Yeah. Do I want the internet in my head? I'm no. going to say no, I'm gonna to say be honest no. with you. Although what would be sick... Go on. <laughs> imagine if you could have like headphones in your head. So you could just play music on your phone and yeah. you wouldn't you'd just be in music and you'd just be walking around and no one would know but you'd be like so blasé to everything that you'd just be hearing <laughs> yeah and you could just speak other languages that's an insane thought yeah. like that's instant for is a... that where it's going do you think that's... I don't know I hope not I think there's going to be a bit of a, th- a throwback to the old school after. I hope so I feel like there is with my is. slash our generation I think yeah it seems to be that people are going like, oh, I just want to be in the world, just want to be away from it all. Yeah. It was like a novelty at first. Oh, wow, Facebook, Instagram. Wow, cool, so sick. I'm so cool. Hey, mom, look at this. Look at this video, it's viral. Yeah. And now your mum's on there and you're like, actually, peace out. I'm yeah. done with it. Like, <laughs> mom, you should come try like walking in the woods barefoot. It's quite nice. Whereas they're actually sat at home on Facebook you walk in and the woods iPads. barefoot? Yeah, I do actually. So, do <laughs> you? That. Yeah, that's what I did on Saturday. One of the on saturday pretty much did eight and a bit miles barefoot in the woods no way there you it's a go. long walk in the woods but yeah we walked to a pub uh which is like four and a bit miles there pretty much kicked my shoes off walked through the woods walked through a few rivers nice. run around with a dog in a field like dude just it's i love love walking barefoot Zen when it's warm motherfucker. when it's warm Zen dude motherfucker. what's yeah. better than being barefoot and I'm it's super funny because barefoot. you train your feet like my feet yeah. used to be really bad for it i used to get like um i, th- I can't remember the name of it uh, verrucas no plastic fasciitis <laughs> in the center of your foot and it like yeah. hurts like yeah i used to get that but now my feet have like splayed out a little bit because i'm barefoot oh, really? all the time yeah barefoot there loads go, man dude. what the dog m- most mornings barefoot no nice. rain or shine have yeah. you trodden in shit yet yeah yeah loads but between the toes ah oh, get it in there man let's squiggle <laughs> it around let's go it's nature at its finest nice, <laughs> mate nice. if you've not got shit between your feet sometimes and you know we all ride bikes you get mud in your mud and shit in your face so whatever you saying nature yeah. um brings me on to my story for you today <laughs> okay. and the reason i'm tired today right you don't look tired i mean you I look as tired, you look man. as weathered as every week yeah there you go yeah <laughs> i'm tired dude so at around like, I sleep through the night pretty good, you know, do a lot of biking, so I'm always tired. At around three in the morning, there's, like, thundering noises around the flat and, and a murderous scream. Wow. <coughs> From a human? Just in my flat, right? Okay. Like, I've got mixed opinions about this, I'll be honest. So, I've, I've you know, me and the cat have got a bit of a, I'm not really a cat guy and I've, obviously learnt to love the cat but the cat pisses me off a bit I walk through the door she fucking looks at me like uh, what are you doing here like she she's so lazy and she's sort of like feel, I feel like she like owns the place like she needs to get a job is what I'm saying and last night she got a job <laughs> what did she get? she fucking we've got a mouse in the flat as well she's, have you? yeah <laughs> so she's so I guess she's like caught it and the thing's like squeaking and squeaking like these are gnarly noises. It woke me up. I had to go and check. And so she's pinned this mouse behind the toilet. And the <laughs> mouse is just stuck there. And she's she's like nailing it trying, it, trying to eat it. For a three-legged cat with nerve damage on the back single leg. She <laughs> bombs well. around. She's a proper hunter. <laughs> it's insane. So yeah, that's why I'm wow. tired. Yeah. That was last night, was it? Yeah, it was really loud. Did she like, get it? Like, was it a well, think- deal? Or did he save? I didn't the mouse, see or? the mouse in her mouth, but I assume when the mouse is like making a noise, maybe people listening will know more. But when the mm. mouse is making a noise, I assume it's not running away. They're not like fuck. They're, yeah. They only scream if they're like they, they've been caught. So she must mm. have caught it and nailed it. Yeah. And then she's eating it. No, it's bombed around. I, I, I had to just go back to bed, and I could just hear this like. <laughs> 
and then, like, a game of cat oh, and mouse literally going yeah, on yeah literally house. yeah <laughs> and i didn't really sleep that much and then yeah and then it kind of stopped and she's hanging around a certain spot so i think the mouse got away wow so go, it's yeah. just in your house is it seems that way dude. it doesn't stand I mean, much I've of a chance found... this mouse i think it's got a scorpion after it maybe and it's got a snake <laughs> after it maybe <laughs> poor thing <laughs> poor thing i the gauntlet in your house isn't poos. it <laughs> yeah i've never found any mouse poos in the house right like yeah. i don't really care about the thought of living with mice until mm. it's too much until there's millions of them i just think they breed exponentially and then you end up with an house full of them. I'm not. Up, I'm not up for infestations. I don't mind nah. like, the odd mouse getting slayed by the cat. But... Mm. I'm with you. No, I'm with you, mate. Hundred percent. Mm. Oh well, it's all good. As long it's as the ma- as long as the cat's all right. As long as the mouse is doing its thing. Cat's whatever. fine. And I assume the mouse is maimed, but okay. Hopefully, yeah. it's not dying a slow death under the floorboards. Hopefully. So, what else is going on, man? How else was you? What else did you get up to this weekend? Oh, down. Dude, Sorry, just town. riding, riding yeah. loads. It's weird having obviously all of the World Cup guys and Sam away. So, oh wow, the, yeah. Um, and I, I kind of think like, um, yeah, like my my uh, field of people to pick from to go riding with is all of a sudden. It makes me realise how much I rely on other people. Like the whole time having other people really? there to ride with, how much it matters. Because I think as you get older, just people aren't around as much, huh? They have jobs, mate. Exactly, yeah. And I just <laughs> live in a weird spot where there's loads of people who whose jobs are to ride. So, yeah, yeah it's yeah. weird. When, when everyone yeah. goes away, it's like all of a sudden silence, crickets, mm. wind, the abyss. Crazy. Who Crazy. am I? All what right, so life? off the back right now, World Cup guys are gone. Who's winning next week's World Cup? Ooh. Let's go. For, who, who comes to mind straight away? Um... I, uh, obviously, I'm rooting for my friends. Obviously, I'm rooting for my friends. Yeah. I would say, right now, Bernard's trying pretty hard. Yeah. Bernard always tries hard. The not a race thing? Did he win that, I think? I don't know. Did he win that? Don't know. Did he win that? We should find that out. I don't even know how you find out because it's not a race, dude. It's not a race. I feel like he'd have posted it if he had. But maybe yeah. he wouldn't. He's swinging. So, he's swinging at the minute. Um, I've seen and... a few people as well commenting and stuff saying how he was hauling. Yeah, he's on it. And then I guess, yeah, I like. like I can't bet against my friends. I just want my friends to do well. Really, I think Bernard's a safe bet. And then just the Frenchies are so the, like the field of Frenchies is so thick now. I know that's a, mm. again a boring thing to say, and I kind of feel like you're guessing at this stage. You know? Yeah. Totally. It's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to a, to a race. Yeah, Saturday too. race as well. I think I'm going to get back into the swing of the old, the old big ride Saturday morning. Chill and watch the World Cup in the afternoon nice. with a beer or ten. And everyone's happy, right? Like, I'm nice. excited. And it's going to give us some like cool content. Maybe we can drag a few World Cup guys in for the next series and stuff like that and catch up with them and yeah, try and keep a bit of a track on it. And also, I'm going to say, I think Valley Hall, I reckon, for a women's one, maybe. Women's yeah. win. Maybe. From all the clips, she she uh, she's so steezy isn't she she's sick I'm yeah big, she is big fan actually yeah same big fan so yeah man i'm excited actually in a strange way i mean i'm not a, i'm not a huge race fan i'll be real like not watching downhill but i'm looking forward to it though especially i feel like the start of the season there's always a bit of momentum as well isn't there? and yeah see how yeah, it's yeah. going to play out and what you know all that sort of stuff see who's on form and stuff so yeah we've got less to go off this year haven't we we've got less sort mm. of pre-season or whatever like you're just you're just yeah, like I say, you're guessing. So, yeah, I mean, I... It's, it's interesting. I feel like there's been a really long off season here, eh? And like, there's not <laughs> yeah. normal life distractions. So, the people who are good at training or the people who have put their mind to training, that mm. this could have been a really good period for them, and it could have been a really good opportunity to actually kill it. And I'm sure everyone's thinking the same thing, aren't they? They're all thinking like, yeah, this is that's it. True. I wonder who swinging. it works against being like at home more you know maybe i don't know you would say prop, hmm, trying to think i don't really have anything that jumps to mind but maybe it's not as maybe the norway and the swedes something like that you know where, mm. where it's win like proper winter and they're not they're not able to go somewhere else and train dude uh, yeah. how about this how yeah. weird is it that the people that are dominant at world cups just bring up any big name 
How many of them live in like mountains or in bike parks or in like that mm. is weird. Not many. In not my head many. there's not many. Mm. Like the greatest of all time, Greg Minar. He's in Peter Maritzburg. It's not even like a you know, it's, <laughs> it's like fair. a flat area. Like how is he going to the Alps? How come they're not yeah. just all kids that have grown up in you know, Leger? For instance, bike parks, or like yeah, in the totally. middle of the Port de Soleil. That is weird, isn't it? I wonder if that's what the next generation will look like coming through, whether it will be bike park kids. Mm. You'd yeah. think... Mm, I'm just thinking, because I'm, I'm really bad with where people are from sometimes, but you'd think there'd be like some more fast Canadians, would you say? Yeah. With, like from Whistler, that are literally like... Yeah, oh, I yeah. mean, uh, absolutely, yeah. Naturally. But again, when you look at Slopestyle, that's probably... Or Freeride, that's maybe where they're at more. Yeah, I wonder what it is. I wonder what that Danny is. Danny Hart, Newcastle. If you're doing I mean, runs, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're doing runs day after day after day, whether you lose your kind of fire, you lose your like mm. will or urge to go quicker. Whereas if you have these kind of like, it's almost like intermittent fasting. Go back to your home in the hills or in the flat mm. areas. You ride dirt jumps, you ride this, that, cross country, and then you come into the mountains and you make it count. I wonder if that's it, whether there's yeah. something in that. So with, with Brendan then, like with your experience with him, does he mm. always go away throughout the year in the middle, like training camps in Spain or, or wherever? Yeah, but I mean, you're talking like week-long trips. So yeah, it's not, it, it's it's not like epic, no. is it? And certainly when he was younger and, and putting out, you know, podiums, he'd literally yeah. get home. I don't know what to say. Get home and ride his hardtail. You know, it's not like mm. he, he's racing on a downhill bike and he's coming home and riding pump track and dirt jumps on his hardtail it's not it doesn't compute does it and he's no, racing against know. people that grow up with a ski lift next to their houses so how does that work it's a mystery to me and i'm sure that i'm completely off and there's loads of examples of people that are definitely mate yeah definitely definitely i'd love to hear them comment section below yeah who's who lives in the mountains that's a world cup winner let's go let's hear them yeah i'm actually well interested in that what is mm. the key if you had to just build from scratch you know, like the million dollar human, mm. the one that's going to win every World Cup race. Mm. What what would be the blueprint? What would it be? What would, like even down to like physique, size. Yeah, what would it be? they're so different, aren't they? Yeah, they are. We have got like such a different bunch of people, guys, girls, all winning World Cups. You've got Greg Minar, you've got Samuel, yeah. you've got Brendan Fairclough, you've got you know it's it's bizarre, isn't it? You've got all of yeah, these like. Is. Completely different, like body types, styles, approaches. I'd always say that, that a taller guy would be faster, and I, I don't know why. I'm just thinking a longer bike. Yeah. You know, being able to sort of. Yeah, but I mean, then you know, Brooke McDonald says, "Hold my." And beer. so does Danny. Danny Hart's like, yeah, cool. Yeah, see, Danny Hart's Five not even two. Like built Bring like it. a brick, is he? He's not even. <laughs> he's... And 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 there's something in when you watch like Troy or Danny go through a section the bike looks like it floats you know and it's like yeah and then you watch it... greg it's completely different what a cool sport i can't wait for cool the races sport. yeah i'm yeah. excited that, again this is probably why i'm excited for the races dude i'm excited to mm. see to see it i really am so bring it on this is uh where is it the first one <laughs> this is like leo gang <laughs> leo gang there you go i yeah. knew where it was but i couldn't think of the name of it last year so it's been quite interesting because they've changed their covid regulations so everyone's had to go out earlier that's it, and yeah. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So again, that adds another bit of drama to it, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I really wish there was a series that like really went behind the scenes, like Drive to Survive. Yeah, it'd be rad. It was it? about downhill. It'd be yeah. sick, wouldn't it? Just I actually spoke to a, a good old friend, um, Chris Duveen, who, who's like in the in he work he basically he works on Drive to Survive. I think he's an editor, but anyway, okay. he's, he's like one of the first names in the uh, bit at the end. I always spot his name. The uh, cool. titles. Yeah. And I was speaking to him about it, and he was like, "Oh, dude, I actually would love to do one in mountain biking. Mm. It'd be so unique. It would be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah, totally, totally, totally. I would I mean, like to see that. I mean, there's good. There, it is good. I mean, there are people putting out vlogs and stuff like that. Yeah. But as far as high quality behind the scenes, it does make you think. Like maybe, maybe if you just missed it, if I just missed it, that like maybe Red Bull do something or Monster do something, but I don't think they do. No, it's not the same. It's not all in one place like that. I mean, the work no. that goes into Drive to Survive must just be massive because for every story that they actually publish and like show mm. and you get mm. invested in, 
think how many they've had to throw away because halfway through they derail, you know? Yeah. True. You know what I mean? Yeah, like someone's yeah, yeah, got yeah. a cold and they... <laughs> and they're like, fuck, it might be COVID. We might have a... No, it's not COVID. It's oh, he's just, just got a bit of a cold. Just a cold. <laughs> oh, he... oh, shit, he won the race. That doesn't even apply. Like, it'd be impossible. That's so we true. Just... Yeah, I mean, his storylines, yeah, they start and must oh, not Oh, there finish. must be so many. And you'd be or like... ones that actually happen and they're like, fuck, we actually missed that one. But that's rare, right? It's rare that yeah. you're like, why did they not get that? They seem to always get it. Cameras yeah, well, always they, rolling. They just have to... Yeah, they must have to just film everything. Yeah, annoying if you want On the red. Drivers. With those massive um, memory cards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Crazy. Wild. clears throat> so, one thing I wanted to bring up uh, and talk to you about, please, is well, two things. The Toyota advert was yeah, brilliant. Arguably it? one of the funniest things that's happened in mountain biking for quite a while. <laughs> it was Good. class. It was so funny, and some of the comments are just brilliant and they and owned I it i love it when a, they when owned a, it when a corporation they, like responds to things with funny comments and yeah. yeah it took a day or two but then they were there like you know chirping back at brendan and vital yeah. and stuff like that it was, that was so funny and uh it's funny because randomly toyota uk are doing something anyway they sent me a link to it because I, I i messaged them and i was like can we recreate this photo and like can i go and do it somewhere <laughs> it'd be hilarious <laughs> with like a good bike a focus yeah. and um they were like, oh, they sent me a link. They've got, they've already got like a whole campaign going out, which is pretty cool. Oh, have you yeah, seen no, it? I have seen it. I have seen it. Yeah, you have seen it. Okay, it's got like Tom Can Kai. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. Guy. I can't remember his name. Yeah, a few others. Fascinating like thing. So, to listeners who haven't seen it, I don't know if anyone hasn't seen it. The picture is of the truck in the background, and then with what can only you can only assume is a uneducated stab in the dark at what mountain, a mountain biker looks like <laughs> and what a mountain biker is. That's a great way to describe like, it. Yeah, like to me it just seems like they've just like what I like to think is they've just been at a spot taking pictures of the car and then they've been like, fuck, there's a Walmart down the road. Mm. Should we just get the photographer's assistant, dress him up in Walmart, stick him in front of the car with a bike and then we can just have it as an option. We'll give it to Toyota as an option and they can decide whether they... I, I can't believe that it's A, thought out and planned or B, done the opposite so they've done a backwards marketing thing where... Because this has got them a lot of it's attention, gone viral. really. Yeah, it's kind of gone Especially viral, in the mountain bike yeah. community. Yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd argue it's a viral post. So has it worked? Would you buy a Toyota off the back of it? No. So, yeah, yeah. See, I don't know what the aim is with those ads because I don't know if you're ever, if, even if they did it the best possible way, I don't know if a mountain biker is going to watch it and go, mm. "I'm going to buy a Toyota because of this advert." I think a lot of it is more about just getting Toyotas just stuck in your head, just yeah. you know, just like a YouTube ad. It's just stuck in your head, and in in which case, this is a very effective way of doing it. This isn't like a, it's just like brand awareness. So now every I feel like whenever I see one of those trucks for the rest of my life, I'm probably going to think of that image. Yeah, especially because the mountain bike guy's so so bright and it's like unmissable. It's not like they've put it subtly in the background, right? You've got like the there orange kit <laughs> with a kickstand, and it's like whoa. <laughs> he looks like he's just shit. about to drop in and do a collarbone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's fail Friday. <laughs> drop it in. <laughs> <laughs> May is good though it made me laugh that's for sure I started seeing it pop up everywhere and it was there yeah well done Toyota I mean yeah well done Toyota either you... way well done Toyota either way yeah well done Toyota hey, should, we, should we actually should we actually get it up it was Toyota USA should we get it up and look at some of their responses oh that's a great idea let's do that Toyota yeah. USA shout out Toyota USA right Not a so promotion. Oh, yes. I love that one where you can see the is it a kickstand on the bike? Yeah, it's a kickstand on the bike. Yeah, it's a kickstand on right there. there. I think he's on a twenty-four inch mountain bike. <laughs> so the the picture <laughs> is a child <laughs> is this and it says our ideal adventure. What's yours? Question mark. That's like a te- that sounds like a textbook social media marketing um agency. That's a thought. Work. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. I had a question. Is. See if you can Create engagement. Create a conversation. Well, that they have. They've got 4,068 comments. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Comment one's a classic. <laughs> Gully coming in hot with the... <laughs> is the adventure to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Is there a potato that is running your marketing department now? <laughs> <laughs> Toyota wrote, 
Okay, even we laughed at this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh. What else we got? Okay. Director must have said, let's put a bike in it. Producer probably said, we'll give you 150 quid. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Just Walmart, yeah. <laughs> That's a Walmart bike if I've ever seen one. Bren wrote, it's actually hard to make a rider look that bad. And then wow. Toyota wrote, never say r- never. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because someone's also put, I'm dying, that bike, laughing face emoji. And Toyota USA have resp- responded, oh, hang on. No, sorry, it's, it's a different one. Uh, okay, <laughs> sorry. I, there's, there's, like, there's a lot of comments. There's replies within replies within replies. It's, uh, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, Coda have replied. We'd happily give you some recommendations. <laughs> Cut media. <laughs> um, we should chat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's that a so lot good. of comments, man. That is a lot, and it's funny because they're engaged. Try it right there. They're replying to people. Yeah, they're doing it. Luca Cometti, you guys are dorks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll give you fifty dollars for the Huffy. It's obviously a Huffy bike, and then Toyota oh wrote, "We're listening." <laughs> <laughs> Toyota, actually, do you know what? They've come out good from this. It's good. Brett Tippy. Okay. Brett Tippy, Gabby at Toyota USA. Meet Remy Metallia, and he's tagged DM. DM Akiad, yeah, and someone has tagged loads of riders in. Darren Barrowcroft, Brett Tippy, Wade Simmons, they're all tagged in there. <laughs> and then Brett, Brett Tippy's put, Hi, Gabby, this ad is actually genius. The, the response and interaction is very commendable. Clever or accidental? Question mark. I drive a Tundra and I've had nothing but Toyota trucks since the 80s and they have all survived the Tippy testing in mountains across North America. I've done videos and campaigns with Toyota BC and open to do more any time. But with a real Tippy, get bike. your tongue out, dude. Come Tippy on, man. Tippy, he's on the hustle. <laughs> Tippy's sliding into the DMs. Come I on, know. Tippy. He's launched that podcast. He's like, yo, uh, yeah. come dude, on. Dude, he's going to end up with a truck. He's going to end up with a truck. And you then who will it. be laughing? Huh? You know it. That's hilarious that uh, people I are actually pitching in there for business. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Yeah. But well done, Toyota. Yeah, Good well effort. done. They dealt with it well. I think it's... I, I, yeah, I reckon it is... An ad agency <laughs> gone wrong. A rogue ad agency. That's what I think it is. It's bloody funny, isn't it? It's so yeah, good. that's funny. That made me laugh first. You were... All right, the second thing I wanted to bring up, because people used, seem to like the um, the social media stuff of like spotting funny things that have gone Oh, yeah. I got sent a load, actually, yeah. Have you seen the Barsha advert? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have. I have. And I don't know where, where, what I'm meant to... Oh, I've got one of those jerseys, the anal jerseys. You're talking about the anal have jerseys. Right? Why do you not have it on right now? Please put the Can anal I get it on? Jersey. I'll get it on. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll be back in a second. Dude, please right, put we'll the talk, anal jersey on. Talk our listeners jersey through on. it, will you? Talk our listeners through it. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, Ollie's gone and left me on my own again. So, I'm either going to edit this bit out or I'm going to talk to you about this dope T-shirt that I've just bought. Um, from the official Anaheim Ducks store. Um, been watching a lot of hockey recently, especially the the World Cup. Uh, and I decided that I love hockey and that I love Mighty Ducks, so I bought myself this. <laughs> Please get on time. That's too much. <laughs> Oh, mate, can't cope with that. That's quality. What would you this do could be one of my favourite my Siggy one. <laughs> <laughs> so, to explain to people, uh, so basically Troy Lee Designs ran this little marketing campaign uh, releasing a new race kit, uh, which is called One and Done. That's what the race oh, is called. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's called One and Done. The and, uh, it, already, it already sparked a load of social media feedback and comments of people saying you know is this called one and done as a tribute to Justin Barsh's Supercross season and some very nasty things but then there was one comment which stands out and it's by Kane Bachman and his comment simply said it spells out anal 
turn your phone 90 degrees to the left. And boom, so you turn your phone I... 90 degrees to the left. Which way do I go? Do I go uh, this you're way? Going, yeah, you're going that way. That's it. <laughs> see, I think you've got to search to see that, but I would agree it does seem It's insane. one of those things, once you've seen it, <laughs> it says anal forever, I think. <laughs> Well, I like this jersey. I'm going to wear it proudly, and there's nothing wrong with anal. Wow, I think it stands out even more on like the the purple you one. You know, than the purple one. Yeah, that stands out like yeah even more. So there he is. He's, he's got hey, his what, muscles tense. You know, like stuff it. becomes a me- a meme. Yeah. Like, what was the old equivalent of that? You know, because hmm. like com- did companies really Funny need names. to worry about that? Because shit just stopped dead, dude. One, that yeah. one dude that said he saw anal, I wouldn't have seen it. I, I like to think I'm fairly imaginative. I wouldn't have seen it. I wouldn't have seen it. I wouldn't have seen it. There no you go. Way. So just through that guy seeing it, it's now spiraled. I so wonder like, if he's like, like, I can imagine him just looking at his phone and being like, oh, that's a pretty cool jersey. And, oh, and drops his phone, picks it up sideways. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Says anal. Wow. <laughs> well, that made like me it. chuckle. Big time still when like, I saw that one. That, like was, that, was a, that was a chuckle. Nice jersey, man. Own it. It's a solid jersey, and I'm gonna own it. Own it. Anal. Own it. Own that shit. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, so that made me chuckle a little bit. I'll be honest with you, man. That was um, that was my two two top picks for the week. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> uh, right. One, yeah. My uh, my top pick actually is. Um, also, it, well, it was actually yesterday because we were recording this on a Monday, and it was actually early oh, hours. Monday, of is it this the first morning time we've done a Monday? It was the yeah, that's right. It, it was the Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather fight. Did you see any? I've only seen highlights, mate. You know the full fights up as well on Sky Sports. Is it? There you go. YouTube. I've only seen highlights. I've only seen highlights. First comment on that is actually quite funny. It's if you thought you were robbed last night, <laughs> wait until you see the fight for free the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. So yeah, I did. How just many of these will it. go on? Because it was kind of what you thought, what you kind of think it's going to be, wasn't yeah. it? Really? Yeah. Although yeah, I right. did just see a clip just now, actually, on socials where what of him going wild, swinging for the rafters? No, it wasn't. It was it was actually our boy Brendan Sharp going into the locker room and been like, "Dude, like you've won. That's a win. You stuck in there. He couldn't knock you out." But well, it is a win. It's it is a win. A win. In a way, I know there was no official winner, but no, he stepped in, other... in there with one of the the best, one of the best of all time. He only he, had to stand in there, and it was out. a win. Yeah, it was only he only had to stand in there as a win, so it's almost more than a win. <clears throat> you know what's it's interesting? It's actually insane. Yeah, is the cash split? It seems quite one sided. So to Floyd, yeah, and I know within boxing he's the bigger name. What's but his you team could called? argue, huh? What's his team called? Money. Money? Ah, it's the money team. Uh, it makes sense now, doesn't it? I mean... Oh, you, I get... can't, you can't get some YouTuber to fight you when you're, when you're that who many... has the most reach? Oh, dude. That, this yeah, is, but... That's tough, man. I just yeah, think but... it's so one-sided. But this is it. This is it, dude. This is it. Because just numbers, <coughs> numbers alone don't mean shit. No. For, in my opinion, Floyd is what makes the entire thing relevant. Like, no, I couldn't care less who he fights, and he's fighting a real fighter. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of a good example. I think I th- think that there's there's something beyond um, there's something beyond just social media numbers. Yeah, there's totally. value beyond it. What? Who really yeah. brings value to that fight? It's a it's yeah. one of the best boxers of all time. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, there's a lot more to social media, and it. I, you know, I guess it goes back to what we started this whole before we even recording talking about numbers and stuff, right? Yeah. There is so much more to life than that number. I totally agree with you, and so much yeah. more to that fight than the number. It's the heritage. It's the it's, it's tens of he's thousands done yeah. of hours of training that's gone into that's that guy. That's what you want to see, and, yeah. And what was insane is even the eighth round, he still looked amazing. Like Floyd looked fine. He was still bouncing around. Logan Paul was flat-footed by round four. Five. Yeah. He was flat footed, he was done, he was hugging because he didn't know what to do, did he? When when Floyd got in, he just hugged, he just like yeah. brought it in close, peace out. So it was so interesting. That that cardio dude 
holy, you can't train that in yeah, and he's just... however many years he's been he's just... alive. Like, you can't train that shit, yeah. I don't think. It'd be, it'd be interesting if, if they'd put in a bonus for Floyd knocking him out, I think it would have been quite interest a knockout bonus. I think maybe mm. they did. Maybe they did. I'm I'm really speaking like I don't really know anything about it. But for me, no, I only know what I've heard from through the you know podcasts yeah. and stuff like that. I don't I don't know the fight game at all. I, I I literally don't know it at all. But it's so interesting that from what I'd say, okay, let me try and explain this in the best way I can. Boxing is quite an old school sport. I'd say it's arguably one of the earliest sports ever invented. Two men yeah. standing toe to toe, beating the shit out of each other, right? Yeah. But then they've they've advanced themselves so far with this whole YouTube creator, you know, exhibition thing. Yeah. And I wouldn't say that. You know, like we always talk about surfing so far ahead of mountain biking with its content and its coolness and its this and its that. Like boxing's gone ahead of it. it in a way, does that make any sense at all? Because like, so I'm trying to work it out still in my head anyway. <clears throat> I mean, it's fa- doing... it is fascinating, isn't it? They're literally yeah. doing and I wonder why death boxing. match. <laughs> but like, <laughs> but why boxing that? as well? I get, yeah, it's like celebrity death match. But it, it, why boxing? Why is it not Logan Paul's gonna enter the WSL? Why is he? You know, oh, Logan Paul's rocked up to a World Cup downhill. Why is it? Why boxing? Is it because it's so raw? It's so I don't know. Does that make any sense? Yeah, absolutely. I think, really, Logan Paul can you can put uh, you can put me in a in a ring in my underpants with gloves on, but it's you know it's not to say anything good is going to happen. <laughs> Just like if you put Logan if you put Logan Paul on a bike at the top of Joyride, yeah, it's not to say anything. Do you, you know what I mean? Like, it, like yeah. boxing, you can you can actually go in there. I mean, he did amazingly well not to get knocked out, but he's a heavyweight Dude. and Floyd's yeah. a, a, a featherweight, isn't he? And, and um, again, don't know the fight game, but as far as I'm aware, mm. he is legit as far as a boxer goes. He's good. He's not an amateur by a long shot, right? He's taking fights, like real fights. Who? Um, I think Logan. I think Logan's like, I don't know. I think there's, I think Logan goes up against someone who's boxed since they're, 10 in his weight category I think he gets a fat KO really? but I, I don't really? know I don't know well I just I just put it to um, exactly what we're talking about like you can't just do something for he's been doing it for what three years or something and he's <laughs> no doubt yeah. he's in killer shape he's like a an athletic yeah. build but you just can't like compare just like if I trained no. as hard as I want for three years I can't then be a surfer no it would be notable Again, to a surfer's yeah. eye you know, I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I would love to see the contract. I bet that contract's pretty gnarly that they've signed. <laughs> yeah. You know, I bet there's so many ins and outs there. I think and the money like team that, have... Yeah, yeah, the money team have sewn that one up pretty good. I know I there was an insane... Because before when... I know before when um, Floyd fought Connor, yep. he put in a a, uh, a clause where if Connor... You know, if, if Connor's like on his back foot and dazed and then he goes for like a... I don't know. He goes for a leg kick or something. Yeah. He loses all prize purse. Wow. Because really? it's, it's, yeah, because it's really quite likely that he like when he's back when he's all dazed and he's yeah, back into just, a corner that he just goes to his um, the natural thing. Yeah, yeah. So no doubt there'll be all kinds of things. But Floyd tried to drag that fight out as long as possible. The Connor one, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. You know, well, so it, you know, I mean, how shit would it be? If people pay pay per view, and it, I mean, it's because there's no winner, I guess, and it's not a yeah. legit thing people want entertaining oh, it's an entertainment love, yeah, show isn't I'd it i'd love it's to not... see the stats right dude they get to round four yeah. logan is still in there you're yeah. still you're still making money on the pay-per-view the longer it stays open the more people are just signing True, up yeah yeah so I, I think what's happened really is that floyd's like floyd knows he, he's like a defensive oh dude i sound like one of those like guys that don't know anything talking about something which i am okay which is, i'm yeah. I'm prefacing what, this whole that. podcast has been built on, so. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but Let's i think from go off the you know the normal yeah. path for the last one <laughs> but, yeah exactly there's <laughs> there's just so much at stake that you like i think floyd knows he's good enough to just in, he's good enough he's a defensive fighter from what i understand you know he's like mm. a counter puncher defensive fighter um he can do what he wants in that ring he can stay safe so it, it pay if you can do that if you can stay safe, you want as many people signing up to the pay per view. So you're just gonna draw it out. Just draw it out. Just yeah. make sure you sort of like 
like win each <laughs> round, which for him is he's a point scoring fighter. I can't, again, yeah. I'm saying annoying things that I don't I don't know about, but from from what I can see and from what boxing I've watched, he's a point scoring fighter, so he can just he can just control the situation quite yeah tie you out. It never seemed out of control for him in my eyes. No, it, but... it looked quite easy, I'd say. Yeah. Other than that I mean, one little clipped, flurry that yeah, yeah. Logan had a go at him. Like, oh shit, did Logan look in the flurry, by the way? <laughs> yeah, it looked like, it looked like, it looked a, like a backyard rule. school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just swinging, dude. Swinging. Yeah. Just but good on him. He's made it. it happen. I mean, that is a, a, a monumental achievement. To, Man, it's huge. To, it's like, huge. To, like, I don't know how big it is for boxing. I think that's the thing. Does this make a mockery of boxing? I don't know, but does it? It's some. If we again, if we related this to mountain biking, we've got some celebrity coming in, just like, "Wait, I'm gonna have a go at it." Do people go, "What the fuck is this?" I don't know. I don't know. I, it I does for me, but it. I kind of think it's just a different thing. As long yeah. as we keep it as a different thing, then it's fine. And it yeah. is a because different I guess thing, that's though, the thing. It, it runs the it runs the risk of okay, if you become heavyweight champion, let's say, I don't know any other boxers other than. Tyson Fury, so or yeah. Tommy Fury, I guess he's one too. So if Tyson Fury is world heavyweight champion, is his goal now to do a YouTube fight? It makes or it is weird, the goal to it? actually be a world champion? Like, I mean, which one Floyd, carries the most weight? Genius, Where's the most dude. money? Probably you just YouTube. Go around knocking out YouTubers. If you make yeah. that much money, you just go around knocking out or or like fighting eight rounds with anyone. It's literally yeah. like. <laughs> But it, I, but honestly, dude, I reckon sport, we get Deke's shame. Let's get Deke's name in the hat as the YouTuber that goes up against him next. Let's, <laughs> let's make that shit happen. We've got, we've got the Deconator against Logan Paul. Let's go. Yeah. Let's... <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, he has changed the game though. Like, like uh, I think that's really impressive. For sure. Yeah, interesting. I mean, and all sure. of it comes from social media. If there wasn't social media, there's no way you can do it. What's he going to do? How did the letter to the get... Times? What is it? What did they get famous for? Like the vloggers or something? Didn't he just yeah, do a load of shitty vlogger, pranks yeah. and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. And that's how he got famous. And then he's tri- so, turned yeah. into this. Dude. Yeah, then he went into Fair that play. Um, suicide forest in Japan. And then he kind of, I think he fucked it a bit there. Do you see that? No. I mean, I, I, if I'm honest, I've always despised um, any small thing I've seen of him. Previously, yeah. I've always just despised Fuck it. Boy. It's all just like, oh, it's just crap. It's just like breaking stuff. And I'm so this, I'm so that. Me, me, me. Yeah, mm. I don't know. Whereas I think I actually like him more now because he's using his platform to do something that he wants to do, which I think is quite cool. And it's not just buy a Lamborghini or jump in a mm. swimming pool. He's and done that. How big our party is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's done it. Yeah. Very impressive. But it is mm. trolling to the tro- trolling to the, the highest level possible, isn't it? Yeah. He's really caught on something. He's caught on to some really strange thing that seems to Hasn't be working. It? So keep rolling. Yeah. yeah, keep it rolling. Let's get him yeah. to Rampage next, he's, if he's up for it. Get him to Rampage. I mean, why not? Yeah. Pad him up. We'll get in the Walmart bike, some goggles, some get orange Get him kit. and Zinc going at each other. <laughs> I'm going to do the world's biggest flat drop backflip. No, I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah. It's quite, kind know. of sad. If he did that, then it would be more viewed than any Rampage ever in the history of Rampage. How sad is it that it would actually be that, though, wouldn't it? It's a kind of shame, shame isn't it? It's a real mm. shame. I think what they what they were teeing up is um, the brothers fighting each other. So at some point, they're going to, you know, it's just going to turn into like wrestling and they're going to have a, a public argument and then they're going to end up fighting each other. And that'll be the biggest YouTube pay per view in history. And you think that's what it is? I, that's oh, I reckon point. that's that. That's got to be well one option. But mm. like, I don't want to watch two guys like fighting. You know, they two can't, brothers. I don't really like watching them fight. I really love watching people who who have mastered something. Yeah, but not just two. Yeah, meathead dudes. <laughs> two rich to... brothers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A couple of Tarquins. <laughs> Mum's so proud. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> uh, good on them. All the same. Yeah, good on them. Again, I don't really have a opinion in a way and just no like, i don't whatever, yeah, it's good. I don't Fair. you know you've turned it into something you're doing your thing you're it's a good cash. question whether it's good for um boxing though i think yeah honestly no idea i'd love to hear if we've got any boxing fans out there yeah like legit boxing fans not not just yeah i watch it the weekend yeah, like exactly legit. yeah and you know, sorry and about it, um getting everything wrong by the way when talking about it yeah <laughs> you, you don't do? look like boxing fans you're in an anal shit <laughs> i'm with mighty ducks so. <laughs> yeah there you go oh dear there you we go. got um 
Oh, you got a watching and a listening before we let's take a di- deep dive into some of these f- listener questions and all sorts of stuff being coming through. So, yeah, wicked. So my watching was the Logan Paul build up and fight, and then, oh, uh, brilliant. See, even then, I called it the Logan Paul build up and fight. Is the Floyd Mayweather fight? Let's be honest. Yeah. But, um, and then the listening is Nas. The world is yours. I always like that song. I always like the idea it's that a the good world song. is yours. Yeah. It's a good song. That is a good song, actually, man. I'll give you that. Uh, I'm gonna go then. So I've uh, been watching a lot of ice hockey. So it's been the World World Cup, hence the new T-shirt, hockey, hockey tee. Um, and uh, if anyone has never watched ice hockey, I've got uh, two games that I think everyone should watch. If you've never watched ice hockey before, you've got an hour spare of your life. A few maybe last week, basically find the Russia Sweden game was insane. It was, it was everything that hockey should be. It was there was fight. The little, not really fights you're not allowed to in the World Cup, but it was chippy, is what we are saying. Those hockey guys, it was chippy. There was goals, there was overtime, there was just, it was massive hit, super, it was everything that ice hockey is, was in one game. And then the World Final, the World Cup Final yesterday was Canada and Finland, and if, again, might be easier to find, but that was insane as well. It was such a good game. And, um, and it's always nice when that happens, right? You know, there's nothing worse than a bit of a build-up in a tournament, and then the final's just like, yeah, mm. too right. Yeah, but it was actually good. It went to overtime, wow. which is just which is sick. So if anyone's if no one if, if people haven't watched ice hockey before, those are the two games. Give it a, give it a watch, and I think you'll enjoy it, even if you don't even understand what's going on. Yeah, I watched the highlights. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I like ice go. hockey. Yeah, it's good to watch, isn't it? Bloody good to watch. Nothing like watch. A, actually going and seeing an actual game and seeing the, the yeah. actual speed at, at which everyone's skating around. It's fast, fast, it's yeah, fast. It's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then my listening, I'm going to go to the new artist that I actually discovered through a podcast that I really like called the Aubrey, Aubrey Marcus podcast. Nice. Uh, and this is a, an, a, an artist called Sat Sang, S-A-T-S-A-N-G. And I don't really know how to describe him. Um... Just look and see if it says anything Spotify, but it's just it's just nice, man. And there's a song called "I'm." His top song on Spotify basically is called "I Am," and it's really nice. It's a bit of a, I wouldn't say it's spiritual, but a little bit. But it's nice. Nice. So we're coming in with that hitter, Sat Sang. Yeah, Sat Sang. A little bit different. Nice. All right, let's have a look. So I put it out there to people first up, and this could be a bit of a convo starter if we're talking marketing terms this conversation starter uh, for people to let us know their best moments of the lockdown companion and dude I can't believe how long we've been doing this it definitely when you see some of these things coming through and like I forgot about a lot of them in some ways yeah. and I was like fuck that actually was really funny it spawned something whatever um, so yeah I got we got I got people to um, to submit the favourite things that we that have happened and it's been it's been fun so I'll just throw them out there, and we'll just if if something springs to mind. Um, so were there loads have, of different ones? There is actually, which is quite funny because there's a few that really like stand out to me, and a few people have asked me that of like what's been my personal favourite moment. Um, you're not feeling the anal jersey, no? You sweaty? Yeah, I'm too hot. <laughs> it's a sweaty anal. With, uh, <laughs> there's, a, <laughs> there's a few people, yeah, a few people have men- mentioned that in like listening questions and stuff. So for me. Uh, I've been thinking about this a little bit. The for me, right, and there's a there's a reason for this, but the snake story still stands out as one of not only the funniest moment, right, but there's more to it than that for me because when we came up with this concept, which was basically I'll put the messages up right now if anyone wants to see over WhatsApp, it took two minutes and we were like, do you want to do this thing? And you were like, yeah, go on, then that'll be a laugh. Like, let's just have some fun and see what happens. Yeah. I think the snake story happened either on episode one or episode two. And it, I think it was episode one. I'll probably go, b- go back and try and find it. But anyway, for me, right, that snake story, that kickstarted everything because to me, right, and we didn't even know each other that well back then, really. Like, no, yeah, we, right. you know, we chatted really, every now yeah. and again, but we didn't, right? So when you told that story and I was literally sat in here laughing and crying, it At verified me. it verified the idea though of like, there's something here, like this is what it needs to be. And I was still a little bit, I guess, unaware, not unaware, but I was a little bit like nervous that you, maybe you didn't ca- get the vibe of what I was trying to do with this thing. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you telling that story was like, you get it, this is it, this is what it is. So yeah. I think that for me stands out just because it verified everything. 
there was a load of engagement after that. People were like, what the fuck? Like, this is hilarious. Thank you. You know, we were in lockdown. People were miserable, man. And yeah. you dropped that story and it really like, there's been, I mean, there's been t-shirts with it on, dude. Like, it, it, <laughs> <laughs> it, that's it, sick. Very, that's for your me, number one. For me, there, but, but more that, more than the story, more that it was like, we're on to summit. Like, this is what it is. This is what it needs to be. So yeah, thank you for the story. Like that for me, that's where I'm at. That's been my favorite moment. That's um, sick. For sure. It, I mean, I mean, it probably, if I'm honest, if I had to write one down, it, you know, like that, that one does stick out for me. I'd say uh, also for me, the Deaconator feet story is just so <laughs> insane. And like, um, I don't know, like, like when we say we don't prepare for these things, like I can't tell you how much we <laughs> don't prepare, you know. And and like, yeah. I just think, like, because I saw the clips that you posted of that, like that, that you can see in that moment that I'm, I am discovering, and you are discovering that Deeks has actually received money for showing his feet. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And I just, yeah. oh, I think yeah. that's so ridiculous that. Yeah. yeah. I think so as well. It was that moment, especially because we caught it on video now and like decent quality video. Yeah, that yeah. would have been a little bit lost, I think, in audio because it was just a bit quiet and a bit like awkward. But when you yeah. can see your light like, and he's he's looking at you going, "Shall like, I tell him? I can't Shall I not tell him?" <laughs> he's actually, I can't believe it. I can't like, believe it. No, he's actually no, got on only like... <laughs> <laughs> the feetinator. Yeah, well, that's yeah. funny. There's two. So I'm going to put both clips in as well. I'm going to yeah, put both brilliant. clips in. Uh, we're going to play this one. Yeah, both of them right now, just because it's hilarious. So. And what other animals have you had over the years? Dude, I don't know if I can talk about this. Okay. Oh, shit. I wasn't going to mention this. <laughs> okay, okay, so... <laughs> oh, this is shit. Okay, so I've got... A, I, yeah, I kind of still have a Russian rat snake. But it escaped. Fuck off. Yeah. So... Does your girlfriend this, know, or is this? Are you just telling her again? The snake again. I need to be quiet because my neighbours were here, dude. <laughs> so I had the Russian rat. <laughs> I'm not even joking, and I was really sad about this. And I absolutely love animals, and I've always I'm a lifelong snake fan. But right, no shit. I fiddle with it too much. That's what I do. I take it in, out. I clean its cage, and a bit of sawdust has gone in the cage door. Yeah. This this animal is a wild animal. You know, it's it's like fully able to fend for itself how how big are we talking are you talking yeah just sort of four foot or so big enough four foot yeah yeah four foot but so it is somewhere in the flat under the floorboards dude if anyone can <laughs> i don't know if we should even edit this out <laughs> I don't know how to find it. I don't know how to find it. It's not like a snake detector. There's no way of finding it. We tried whistling. I've turned everything. Dude, it's insane. It's a... One thing I did notice a load of rat poo under... (laughs) I can't go. Oh, shit, yeah. So I've got a disabled kitten and a four-foot snake just loose in the flat, and I've never... I haven't seen it since it left. How long ago was that? A little while ago, yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't be laughing about it because I was no. I was absolutely heartbroken, gutted, love this snake. But fuck knows where it is, dude. <laughs> it's under the floorboard somewhere. I've taken the load up. I go around every night with a torch and shine it through the cracks in the floorboards in case I can see it. Jeez. Nothing. They're quick, you know? Yeah. Um. Hey, if we're looking on the plus side, um, all right. <laughs> First, we'll start with the negatives. We'll start with the negatives. Yes, I'm stuck in a small flat with a disabled oh, kid and a snake under the floorboards. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's true. But the good thing is, it's not venomous. Plus. So that's good. And it's not a constrictor <laughs> as such. It's more of an ambush predator. It's not like a... Because a constrictor means it wraps around you. And... Yeah, so yeah. we don't have any issues with that whilst we're sleeping. Um, the, the other negative, of course, is that I've got kind of like a low... Japanese style bed close to the ground. Okay. But I think the cat would, you know, if I put the cat against the, the snake, I think the cat's going to win. You reckon? What, a three legged like cat? Told... <laughs> yeah. Maybe with four legs, I'd give she's it a chance. Evil. Dude, she's evil. Yeah, really. I can barely pick her up. Right, she's going to got a chip on her back, aren't she? Like, because of what's been yeah, going exactly, on. So yeah. She's got a chip on her oh, shoulder. Yeah, big time. Oh, Dude, fully. So I can't, I can't believe go. that's come out. I'm, I shouldn't have said that. No, it's fine. I shouldn't have said that. 
It won't. The neighbours aren't no one listens. watching this, are they? No. no. Talking of like weird Instagram things and that, this is no yeah. joke. I had some bloke the other day say to me, he's got a foot fetish, and I was like, this is a wind-up. The more you dug into it, he was totally serious about sending me money. For, and I was just like, okay, to start off with, yeah, I'll do the odd foot, maybe. And he's like, yeah. oh, can you can you do one with your face? I was like, definitely, definitely not. So, <laughs> what's well, so your foot and your face? Yeah, like, can I curl my feet? There's the camera. Yeah, and be like that, and have my face just like. <laughs> <laughs> we did no, it out as well. No, 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 no. just feet, just See, feet. I think. Yeah. Gonna how much was he going to pay you? It's like he said, I'll pay you good money, mate. And then he started going, you know, how about like 50, 50, 50 quid per like set of 10 shots ago so could it up, but was it for him mate i'll try and find, i'll try and find the message. it's going to be a long-winded message isn't it? i don't I'll, know if I, I, I'll, 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 I'll save yeah. it for another day i think but, um i don't yeah, know do it. I, what what amount no, it just gets to a point of what amount would you do it for yeah but that's that, of talking of porn porn hub and stuff that's mm. how they start isn't it they start off going oh, i'm only going to play with myself and then before you know it, they're like, well, I'll tell you what, I've got an agency here that will you get banged and you can get paid a bit more. And then that, before you know it, yeah. you're Jenna Jameson. And it started off yeah. with you just going, I'll, I'll take... So is that what you're worried the... about? <laughs> <laughs> That's why he doesn't want to do it. It's a slippery slope, mate. It's a slippery slope, quite literally a slippery slope. <laughs> I think it's an amount that you do it for. If it was 100 quid and you just do one every week, by well, every yeah. week, you made... Four. Yeah, but not if you're facing. Think what you can do with that then. Yeah. And then you're yeah, like... Yeah, it's just your foot and your face. Yeah, but... I make what? all of them, like, <laughs> super unsexual. Oh, man, I'm going to find... I'm going to name any names, but you I'm going to try and find like, it. Like a YouTube <laughs> thumbnail face. Every single one, just with the, the... I think it's a good one. Deeks, I reckon you jump on that, bro. Especially getting hey. socks at the price you'll be getting them out, man. You're making hey. bank. You don't even have to buy the socks, really. Yeah. It's, like, yeah, it's quite yeah. Well, we, I might get a foot like, mannequin, and then you don't even have to use my real foot. Just paint like some mud on the bottom of it, make it look really scabby. Well, mm. yeah, I wouldn't have to fake it with my normal feet, but you know the mannequin <laughs> might be too clean. That's what I'm saying. And just yeah, yeah. literally just hold it at an angle and with my face in, in yeah. the foreground. Mate, people people buy weird shit. There's a market there. Dirty underwear, you know. Dirty riding kit, dirty socks, Deep, sweaty feet, dirty feet, Deacon's no, dirty no, feet. No. Yeah. No, we make this one clear. I, I think I'll stay stay away for now. We'll see what happens. But I think I'm impressed, dude. That things you, get desperate. I at least find it, but it's just going to be a, a palaver. I didn't get yeah. any heads up. I'll put that in mind for next time. Because <laughs> honestly, like you think, yeah, flipping right, I get my foot out for a few quid, and then. <laughs> The more the talk <laughs> on you and the more descriptive he gets about it, they're yeah. going, I want this photo so you can look into the camera and cull your feet. And he's being totally legit. Think, wow. I think well, it's like, admirable that you entertain the conversation, know, though. Well, that. But then when you think of the flip side of this, I don't know how, how dark we're getting on this show. But just oh, okay. imagine what he's doing for that picture. And then you're like, no, 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 no. I, yeah. do, not, I do not want my face in that as he's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a weird thought i just feel like there is a price i know it's an annoying thing to say but you would do it for a certain amount of money i mean like you said no face maybe you can get away with it a little bit just so sell, no sell out a little bit and just for would you do it for 50 quid a shot you you don't have to have your face it's just your foot well i did <laughs> well, you only you did that. <laughs> so he is a foot. He, he is. It's when he's a foot model. When he's taken off your face. <laughs> so he is a foot. You were a foot model as well. When he goes, he goes. Can we? Can you share? I'm sure I find it. <laughs> you find it. We'll talk among he ourselves. Goes, he goes, he's, he's literally just like, yeah. Can you just make sure they're like a bit rough? <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, we had Morley MD, drinkable seawater, which <laughs> which is still not verified because there's been so many messages and videos of people sending in, I work on a ship, I do this, we drink yeah. sea, we seawater all the time, and then other people coming in with, you're an idiot, you can't drink seawater. So still, I don't think this is decided whether you can drink seawater or not. 
and <laughs> and my <laughs> argument and my argument remains the same. Can you walk into a shop, buy a bottle of water that came out of the ocean? I don't mm. think you can. So, I don't so care you're, just to clarify ocean. your argument, no one thinks you can drink from the sea. But you're you're not saying that. You're saying you can't take water from the sea, mm. desalinate and it. it, and and drink it. Yeah, that, yeah. So yeah. But, but like, not on a boat. I guess it looks like some boats do have some sort of desalination yeah, yeah. facility. And, 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 people and they will reuse that like... water. They'll cook with it. They'll, they'll brush the teeth. That seems to be a thing. But is anybody producing seawater that you can walk into a shop Pick it up, walk out, and it's cold and it's nice. Okay. Don't think so. Okay. So the argument still like remains you're like the same. Backtracking, you're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really? Do you have my backtracking? Oh, yeah, good. I reckon you're sort of backtracking. You're making the, the T's and C's more complex here. I think that's what I said in the, originally, but maybe it probably I didn't. is. I'm joking. Prove me wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Prove me wrong. I um, enjoyed that moment. That was a good moment. Uh, of Chelsea sheer custom bike from both of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh chicken fingering i mean obviously that's another, another brilliant moment uh, yeah well mainly because it was you just taking the piss out of me though to be it fair stuck it stuck with me i oh, know what it, it was me actually saying that i yeah of course i just thought it was you made it up that i'd finger the chicken but it wasn't it was me telling the story of actually trying to get an chickens. egg you're fingering chickens yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i forgot about that bit. yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So okay. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Next one. Uh, yeah. So there was that. Um, what else we got? We got Dave Robinson. Love the Sven episode. Uh, yeah. Again. Sick. Like that. We totally different. You know. Yeah. It was super fun. But it. You know. It was just a different vibe. Like we've actually had amazing guests on this thing. We've had some guests, eh? Yeah. Clay Harper. We got Brooker MTV. The interview. Interview. Ooh, interview with Clay Harper and Braga. Again, yeah. insane. That one came out of the blue a little bit. We didn't really yeah. know how that was going to go. Zero preparation going into it, but it seemed to, seem to come out really well. Yeah. Maybe Actual the zero insights. preparation is the key. Yeah, it's probably going to have to be. Mm, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not change that, no, <laughs> that I approach. Think, no, I think not, yeah. Let's not change that approach too much. Uh, we've got at Skirto, all of volume 10. Claire Wilkins, had your mum on. Mum came on, yeah. Uh, granddad, pe- granddad's potions. Um, so yeah, that was a really good one. Actually, I love that because uh, it was so funny that people were starting to say, "Oh, you've not had a, you've not had a woman, you've not had a girl on lockdown." I'm like, "All right, let's line it up. Let's get all these mum to surprise you." And that was <laughs> that was really cool. Actually, that was really cool. That was good. Really, you really completely cool. got me as well. I had an, I had zero idea. Yeah. For sure. That was Thank good you. on you, dude. Yeah, good. That was good fun. Work. So fun. Your mum nailed it as well. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> um at Paul Outdoors seventy six, he said the online meetup. So I don't know if anyone will even know that, but there was a few days on evenings where we were doing online meetups. Um and that was pretty cool. So Paul's put the online meetup that was, but there was actually about seven or eight, I think. And that was when we went back into lockdown. And I was just posting a link in the Facebook group and just been like, yo, let's just sit and have a chat. And we did. We, there was just like a bunch of listeners were joining and we were just sat shooting the shit and chatting and yeah, nothing too formal, obviously. Sick. Um, I mean, when I look back on earlier episodes yeah. and you think about what, do you remember how weird it was actually? It's quite hard to imagine now. Like the world's pre- pretty normal other than travel for me anyway. Like, there's mm. not really much like when when you were stuck in the house and you were like, like how fucking insane is it that you're allowed out for exercise? Yeah, you know, I know. and like I know. it's more insane now. I know it's about not passing it on, but it's more insane now that I've had it. It's like right, what you've had the the the, the, the vid? Yeah, no, the yeah the virus, yeah the the vid, yeah. Right, it's more. It's that's so weird to think that I was really really just in the flat and then I'd go for a bike ride. And that was for quite a long time, wasn't it? Was that a month? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, months. A month of intense long lockdown. Yeah, that first bit was, mm. you know, I think there was a lot of questions and there was a lot of uncertainty as to what this thing was at that point too. Yeah. And I agree, that's what we should have done, I think. We should have yeah, been like, yeah, right, yeah. lock it down, let's figure this out. And the roads were all out. empty, weren't they? It was Dude, bizarre. it was so strange. I remember going riding in the local reservoir um, and just been like, 
nobody there because they shut yeah. they, they shut it the only way you could get in was to ride in which is sort of in the middle of nowhere so no one really goes there so there was, I was riding around there and normally it's pretty busy there's nobody in there the wildlife you could tell was like flourishing Bizarre, and it yeah. was really nice you know I am quite a I like my quiet I like my space I, I like I look I like the... back on certain elements fondly yeah I do as well yeah. but then equally it was shit it was like yeah it's, it's a tough one isn't it weird thing yeah yeah but there I was a listener was... question actually that was um, might as well just do it now who that asked uh, what was your best like best part of being in lockdown have you have you got something that like springs to mind the hmm. best part of being in lockdown <laughs> Never thought I mean, I'd say that. Best I mean, part of lockdown. But there, but there were. There's, there's good and bad parts of a lot of things. Really, even bad things that you can, you can search and find a good thing, can't you? I guess mm. I quite liked how just how simple my days were and how like. I think normally in life I go off momentum, so I'm just doing stuff the whole time, busy, a bit out of control almost. And it was so right. simple. It was like, right, I'm gonna have breakfast, then I'm gonna go digging for three hours then mm. i'm going to come back and i'm going to edit a video and everything everything was so like compartmentalized and i think i quite enjoyed life like that it's like bento box mm. life it's like everything was in its place where it's meant to be it's i mean that's it for me what was it for you the best thing for me about the last year to 18 months was being able to take a bit of a break and like just slow down a little bit yeah so since starting my first business at about nine 20 i think 20 years old it's been 14 years man i've not stopped at all it's you know i've had one holiday in that that space which was a week long it's the only time i've had off and it was a time to actually stop and reflect and a lot of people might not even know i guess but like i started a whole new business in lockdown so the hook it thing changed quite a lot just before i went into lockdown and then i went sort of self-employed in january and then we went into lockdown in February, well, March, wasn't it? I think end of March, something like that. I can't remember. So then I was just sort of getting that started in January, February. So in theory, I've started a whole new company and it's yeah. been good to actually have time to put into it, to grow it um, and to just, man, it's so cringe, but like I actually had time just to do a bit of soul searching. Again, like we were talking before we started recording. It's just quiet, I've really though, figured it? out what I want to do with my life in the last year because I feel like I bumbled along for so long and it was, I was chasing the sh- wrong stuff. I was, you know, whereas now I really feel like I found my place in this planet. I think I'm in a nice little spot and good on without you, lockdown, I wouldn't have had that opportunity to stop and to think. And a lot of that, was right like riding dude i found riding again early lockdown was like cool right i got time to go out for a bike ride yeah and um back then like big shout out to canyon who sent me a bike to ride i mean yeah i, I rode so much in that first lockdown yeah um, when it wasn't broken the, when it yeah, when it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no I remember, God, I, remember you were like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you were always on the phone to me and you were like it's fucking yeah the head tube sheared off again <laughs> please get me You're a like, deal oh, dude I'm with focus another... <laughs> come on make it happen <laughs> oh no yeah that's funny oh yeah um, no it's the down yeah. tube I was like what the inner tube <laughs> no the down tube <laughs> yeah no I hear you dude but it's yeah, funny you say that I, 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 yeah I reckon I got the opposite effect and that would be my negative for the lockdown because I dude, just you started like a YouTube channel in lockdown fact yeah I did, I did, but I, I feel like I'm like staring into the abyss when I, in that during that lockdown period. For me, the really? you were yeah, proactive, the quiet, man. Mike Ride started, YouTube channel but started. You know that that is exactly because otherwise I feel like I'm going mad. Like I'm not comfortable. I'm uncomfortable the whole time, and mm. with quiet, you know, like I I don't know what I want to do in in life ultimately, and I think yeah. like actually lockdown probably makes it even clearer that I don't know what i want to do with life you know i'm going to shoot you a compliment here i think you've really helped me through this last year because not only has there been someone to talk to that's been hilarious and we've just had had some fun with it but also your approach to life hopefully has rubbed off on listeners as well because it's really rubbed off on me and made me like really refocus stuff and i've you know i've just refocused but i'm like you know actually focused on riding bikes and doing what i actually enjoy doing well, I'm, Sorry, I'm very I think... glad. I think likewise. I think like I, uh, oh man, and especially in the early bits, I 
thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed having the podcast as just, you know, like like, like you say, like it's uh, you you get so many messages and people saying it's helped them and stuff, but just fucking mm. having it there every week just to chat to you was was amazing. Mm. Like, yeah, it's been fun. That's so weird. I'd never normally think of that. It's not like I think of those things. I don't yeah. think like, oh man, I should give Davey a call. Like, why would yeah. why would I though? I don't, I don't even really Dude, sit especially... down and talk like this. You don't really sit and talk <laughs> like this with anyone, do you? It's fucking weird. Yeah, it is. It is. Whether there's people listening or not, it doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. It's been nice either way. Yeah, well, you forget pretty know. quick, don't you? It's quite. It, yeah. it's, it's quite like. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so it's been really good. Great idea. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers, dude. Yeah, it's been fun. And I know later. things aren't really changing too too crazily, but it has been. Like, when you actually look back and think about that, it's like, fuck, yeah, it's been those early stages of this lockdown were gnarly. Like, it wasn't yeah, a nice were, place yeah. to be for a lot of people. And that's when, especially, there was a lot of messages coming through from people saying, yeah. like, you guys are actually helping. Like, keep doing what you're doing and stuff. So it's been, it's just been, yeah, it's been so much fun you know yeah. the lockdown campaign has been very kind it's been very very kind to yeah us. it has yeah absolutely thanks um, lockdown companion yeah thank you lockdown companion uh, i'm just looking through dude there's so many of people saying basically deconator story chicken fingering snake stories winning the stands wheels but the <laughs> mopper episode was amazing that's from yeah, lazaru uh, hey uh, dude the... mopper we need to do a shout out to mopper because he's got a uh, <coughs> gcn documentary out I haven't checked it out yep. yet. I did some interviews in it, but it's um, I've, I've seen I have seen it. I haven't seen it fully color graded and all of that, but I've seen it and it's it's so cool. And there's things that I you know I I consider Chop a really good uh, Chop a really good friend, and there's things I didn't know. Really? That, uh, yeah, it's really good. You'd love it. Yeah. Yeah, well I'm gonna watch it. Out. Yep. The Mopumentary, yeah, yeah, as I named it. The Mopumentary, brilliant. You can have that one. It's free. brilliant. Um. Yeah, there's so many. Again, thank you to everyone. Uh, Brian's brain, I forgot about that. Gus Ginger, uh, the <laughs> thumbnails. Fucking brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, God, yeah, so many, man. Poo poem, obviously that keeps coming up. Um, Fuck's sake. And then we've got a few people saying the feet and eighters Facebook marketplace scandal. That was funny. Yeah, that was good, wasn't it? That, that was, was good. That was hilarious. That was yeah, funny. That was good. Um, yeah, so many. So thank you again to everyone um, for. Set. I just I just seen something that's quite funny. I'll do that in a sec. Right. Um, in fact, let's do it now because that's that's actually brilliant. So um, so we've got someone basically said their favourite part was the adventure poo poem, um, and then it says, "Don't disclose my name, but if you want to share this, you can." It's because I had to go really bad and took inspiration and done a poo behind a bottle bank. <laughs> Not my proudest moment, it says, but hey, as the poem says, it's fun to play adventure poo game. And then it says, but please, if you do bring this up, do not share my name. I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> At Sam Reynolds, 26. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Luke Thurston, 94. <laughs> As if you thought Dude, we were going to read your name out. Luke. As if you didn't think we were going to read your name out. Come on, dude. The Should adventure took over. That. He needed... Oh. He had to go. He, he, he was adventurous with life. Yeah, I like it. Inspiring people. Wow. Okay. So, a few listener questions? Please, dude. Always love listening questions. Yeah, me too. These have been like my favourite part of this, to be honest. Yeah, they're um, good, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, okay. At Alex Raymond, which crankwork slope style riders shin pad juice would you drink? Yeesh. Shin pad juice. Shin pad juice. Dude, shin pad juice. I'm just trying to think of someone who looks not sweaty at this point. I mean, there's no. Yeah. Shin pad juice. I'm. I go Martin Soderstrom at the moment. Yeah, I, think I was, was like going to do Bull. the same. Yeah, I, I I think so. And just like, He's you know, cool Martin's character. like a clean guy, cool yeah. guy, healthy living. I reckon it's going to be yeah. You know, yeah. some of those guys rock and roll. It tastes like whiskey and bloody all sorts. Fear, yeah, totally and testosterone. Fear. Yeah, Martin's so, yeah. chilling as well. Yeah, I'd drink his. Yeah, I'm with you. Good call. Awesome. Um, okay, what else we got? Dave Voller S4P. Swings or roundabouts? 
<laughs> I literally this morning went went to the swings with Dave and his daughter Zoe, and we did swings and we did roundabouts, and both really? were good. I particularly enjoyed. We went. Uh, I'll give you a serious answer. I enjoyed it when we went on the big, um, the big round swing. We all sat in that. We pretended it was a boat and we were in the sea, and then we were feeding whales with invisible sandwiches. And Zoe fed a whale a spaghetti bolognese sandwiches sandwich. And I think, yeah, that was the high point for me. So the swings. Swings. I like it. Um, <laughs> thanks, Steve. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dave. I'll, I'll say swings as well. Would you? Yeah. What's Although one swings? of my favourite things, one of my favourite YouTube videos ever is called, uh, let me find out what it is. It's the, it's, I think it's called Worst Playground <laughs> is it it's... a backflip which turns into a smack in the head by a swing mate I love it because I, I love like also I love all of the things that people submitted I actually don't have any to hand I could look through my phone but I'm not going to um, okay. it basically just just uh, reaffirms that people get what we find funny if you know what I mean like we're on the same page <laughs> with the listeners and yeah. I get sent things that make me laugh all the time which I think is really good Right, worst playground. What is it? Worst playground. While you find that, I'm going to um, just tell people, because I almost forgot, that we actually have, finally, a lockdown companion frame protection and mudguard. It's like a commemorative frame protection and mudguard yes. range. It's available. It might not be available when you're listening to this, but don't don't worry. Keep an eye on the social media. We'll tell you when it's out. And on the frame protection, it's basically got all of our favourite moments on there. I mean, it's a great time to talk about it, actually. I can't believe I almost forgot about it. Boom! On the, frame, on the frame protection, you've got scorpions, tunnocks, tea cakes, foot, fit, foot photos, mops, chickens, mum tattoos, G-wagons, hot air balloons, spike balls, snakes, caramel wafers, photo of Ollie, photo of me. And it says good vibes on it as well. And I just think it's the sickest thing. And primeval illustration has once again come through and just knocked it out of the park. I am so hyped on it. I can't believe it's taken us so long, but it only felt like the right thing to do was to put it out after. Because this is, a, you can get it and you can remember Lockdown Companion. It's going to be there. It's going to be on your bike as a mudguard or a frame protection kit. And your friends are going to be like, what the fuck's that on your bike? And you can tell them, like, it's just two idiots who talk shit every <laughs> week on the podcast. <laughs> and... uh it, it looks so cool, man. I absolutely love it. I know I sent you a photo of it to look at, uh, which I think was the finished one, but yeah, hyped, really hyped on it. Thank you, Primeval Illustration, once again for coming through with it. I mean, it's it's amazing. Going to be wow. rad, actually. I really look forward to getting one on my bike. Yeah, I'll see all you want. It's got a G-Wang jet ski. Oh, honestly, it's insane. Has it's it got a jet ski on? It's the dream. Good question. Got a jet ski on it. Yeah, it has. I think it has got a jet ski on it, it somewhere, has. yeah. It looks it sick. Does look sick. Well excited. Um, I actually uh, just sent you the video. I have it. I have you? Yes. Yeah, it makes me laugh so much every time. Shall I, shall I press play? Yeah, do it. Should we press play at the same time? Yeah, it's only 20 seconds long. So you Yeah, ready? so Three. first of all, the title already makes me laugh. Worst idea for Playground Ride. Wait, where have you seen this video? Because it's got 220 views. I mean, maybe it's not that. Yeah, th there's one that was, was more viral. Well, maybe okay. I just found. Maybe I just <laughs> maybe found. Maybe you're a... deep in the YouTube. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I've nearly run out of YouTube's ankle injury dragged on. No, I think it is this video. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, should we press play in three, two, one, play? Okay, okay look at the nervous kids around the edge. It's <laughs> like, yeah, who wants to go on this ride in the sand? He gets nailed, and then they're like, huh, yeah, cool, cool. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just love the idea that that thing is just there in the playground. <laughs> it's just do, it's, it, like as we speak, it's still doing that. It's, it's not as funny good, as I still... thought it was, but it's but that to me is very funny. Just that they That's made funny. that, and people just nail themselves on the regular on it, you know. That is so good. Love that. <laughs> in the That's brilliant. Play area. <laughs> There's that viral one. Have you ever seen the one of where they they put the moped on and rev it? Oh, do, yeah, they're gnarly, aren't they? That's good. I hate the that idea. Is a good one. 
Yeah, of that. It's going like 500 miles an hour and kids are on it. <laughs> they have to make out. it so it's not possible to do anymore because it was like obviously <laughs> happening all over the country. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, oh, people dear. died doing it, right? It was really bad. I mean, they must have. I mean, someone must have flown off that and gone a long way and hit something for sure. Just round ragdolling about. off of a roundabout. roundabout. Are you searching it? Moped. Yeah, let's have a look. Roundabout moped death. <laughs> We you... probably shouldn't make fun of people Ooh. dying, I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't. Yeah. Oh my god, let's just look at the lad bible using a moped on a roundabout video. Um, Can't beat a bit of lad bible. Okay, I'm going to send... Shall I send you it? Actually, <laughs> I can't just watch it on my own. I was about to. We're doing a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a look Hey, let's not watch want. it. People actually get hurt doing it. <laughs> okay. Uh... What's up next? Okay, sorry, I was just reading something. My bad. Uh, so, another listener question which came in. I think you know this guy. Bit of a fan of this podcast. Um, Mark Bishop. Yeah. Mark Bishop from Red Bull. You know Mark Bishop. Um, if you could ask one of your th- your pets three questions, what would the questions be? That's a good question. God. If you could ask one of your pets three questions, what would the questions be okay Dude, look, also let's george and we were thinking about this sorry go if anyone's got answers to this this is a good one so let's see him in the comment section right yeah. what would you ask you compare three things let's go yeah good idea okay dude i just what i i always want to know what an animal is actually thinking mm. you know just in a moment of whatever just what they actually think of me because like Ivy sometimes will like go for me. She'll like like bat me as I come as I walk past her. Right. What's she thinking when she does that? Is she just like, oh, moving target. I'll smash it because it's good practice for when I have to kill a mouse. Or is she yeah. actually like, fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't one. know. Yeah. I'd, Scorpion, I'd ask I want to be like. Yeah. I'd ask the dog like. What is the meaning of life? Because I think dogs have got it pretty chill. Like they just sleep, walk yeah. about a bit, eat. They, I mean, dogs have got it fine. Like it's like eat, sleep, exercise. Yeah. Nothing else matters. Yeah, and also shagging. That's, that's life, right? And Shag- yeah, but yeah, shag- mine done. Not bothered. Really? No nuts. No nuts. I, I'd probably ask him that. There you but go. I want your nut- Do you want your nuts back? Do you want your nuts back? Is it a good one? Do you want? Have you got anything back? to say to the chicken? I feel like you should. Sorry. <laughs> so if it was a question, it'd be like, are you okay to the chicken? Are yeah. we cool? Yeah. It should be like, yeah, we're cool. I'd like to ask you the snake. Like... I'd like to ask the snake if the snake actually prefers, because I'm always a bit torn keeping animals. I don't really, you know, mm. a lot of the animals are like rescue animals, like the cat, the snake was a rescue animal. Like, are you happier? So the snake was in a snake pen. And as far as I can see, she had it good. She's chilling. She's got someone like chain taking her poos away. Someone mm. feeding her massive rats. Like mm. what? She's in like a five star hotel, basically. Yeah. Is she happier when she's out there getting pecked by birds, trying to eat eggs, trying to catch these mice yeah. in the cold, in the winter, in the hot, in the like? Is she happier in nature? Mm. I think that's a good. I think that is actually a really good question. Because nature's like not ask, kind. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to ask a snake actually, like, what other animal would you rather be than one with no legs and no yeah. arms? Because I think they've got a raw end of the deal, really. Do like, you? imagine if we were just torso. You'd be jealous of arms, wouldn't you? We're not designed, now, are we? Like watching you slither, you'd slither like shit. You ever see me do the worm? <laughs> no. Can you ang- adjust the angle of your? <laughs> <laughs> not in this room no way yeah I don't yeah. know I want to ask my scorpion if he slash she is happy because she's non-binary um, oh. she he is non-binary non-binary okay. scorpion yeah because spends a lot of time under the log eats crickets I, there's not much going on really I just want to know if, mm. I don't know it's quite what primal I don't... existence isn't it a scorpion yeah big time yeah it is quite old where, scorpion where did the scorpion come from is it always been in england or has it been a desert rescue? hairy scorpion but it's a very good question um where they 
where do they actually originate? Yeah. I will find out for you because I've still got co-host skills where I find yep. stuff out. Uh, yep. Warm desert species. Right. Not so much Surrey then, is it? Not No, North America. North really? America. wonder how it got over. Like at some point that, not that scorpion, but it's mum, granddad has got come over somehow, hasn't it? Yeah, interestingly, Madeira is a place that doesn't have uh, like white sand beaches. So if there's a white sand beach, which there is, I think in um, oh, what's the name of the town? Anyway, it's got white sand beach, and there's a story about this white sand beach being uh, imported sand from Sahara, and it came with a load of scorpions in. No. Yeah, and now there's like wow. a scorpion population because of it, which is mad. Is there? Apparently, I guess an island's wow. pretty fragile. Like you could introduce a species by accident and then it flourishes you only yeah. need an Adam and Eve and then you're away to the races yeah I feel like you should have done Trans Madeira yeah would have loved to would have loved to it oh, looked God. wet didn't it even was out there um, and then uh, yeah and Taxi won um, Joe Connell was out there John yeah. yeah, would have been a good one Matt Jones did half the stage yeah so he hit his head or something right he, had to he hit his head out. at home apparently yeah that's what it said. He's had it home and had to come back. You've got to take that seriously. It's not good hitting your head. Fuck yeah, you have. Holy. Yeah. Holy. Um, uh, good question. Good, Great great animal question. Yeah, thank you, Feel Mark. Like appreciate off. you. Yeah, cheers, Mark. You know, I appreciate you, man. You're the man. Um, at Istim, kill, kiss, marry, the feet and eater, pilgrim, scorpion king. I like Scorp- that one. Sorry, scorpion king not being that aggressive. Jono. Kill, kiss, marry. It's not fuck, marry, kill. It's kill, kiss, marry. So you can... Dude, killing is the most aggressive kills, thing you can kills do. Kill's probably yeah. the one that I missed yeah. out of that. Can we do dead yeah. arm? Dead Instead arm, kill, kiss, I don't want marry. to kill any of those guys. They're the, all, all of them are the best. Dead arm, kiss, or marry. Yeah, dead arm, kiss, or marry. Um, I'd like to give... <laughs> I'd like to give all of them a dead arm. Yeah, I'd like really. to kiss all of them, and I'd like to marry all of them, so it's very difficult. Wow. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah, I actually I, would. Yeah. I don't. I don't really have a a horse in this race or anything. I think. Okay. Well, um, you'd probably be the best to. Yeah. What? Who would you marry? Who would I marry out of that lot? I mean, Pilgs. Cheddar. I right? hear you, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be a yeah. kept man. Yeah. We'll go Pilgs for the cheddar or yeah. gravy. Um, we'll probably kiss. Who's a, who's kiss. A good night out. Jono. Jono is a good night out. Okay, yeah. Good night out. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll dead, we'll dead arm. arm. We'll dead arm Deeks. Fair enough. You might have the chance soon. At Freedom Ride. Freedom Ride. Let's go. Merch available now. Freedom Ride. Okay. Oh, that's right. Check that out. Uh, um. Okay. What else we got going on here? Sorry, that was a shit answer from me. I'm sorry. That was tough. Don't, it's tough um, with those ones. I'd, yeah, I'd, same person. Yeah. Stim. Not really a question, but I just wanted to say thank you for all the episodes. Much love. Nice one, dude. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for listening. Um, well done, spending money to be honest. At Lewis Craig, do you think there is more time spent riding mountain bikes or consuming mountain bike media? Definitely cons- definitely consuming, dude. For sure, mm. people's phone... If you think of the screen times, a lot of yeah. that is on Instagram and then YouTube when you're at home. You're consuming it so much. Like, that's yeah, why the feel, yeah. screen time challenge was actually really good. But it's a very good question. But I think, yeah, I think you consume it more than you do it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I think so as well. I think, I think so. I think so. Maybe try and change that, people. Yeah, it's a good one to try and change, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's why it was the screen time thing was was definitely a highlight for on. me of the yeah. of my life so far. It just made me not look at my phone, which was really yeah. nice, and rode my bike loads, which was ultimately really nice. I got a thing the other day, a uh, screen time thing. The other, you know, the purple thing that comes up, and it was down to um, two hours now. So mine's really? still dropping. Yeah, which I'm pleased with. Yeah, you but should I'm, be, man. Well done. I'm still that's using really cool. my my phone and stuff obviously yeah, that... for work and everything but... i'm just way more mindful of it now like i'm way mm. more get away from it when you can 
definitely gives me anxiety when I've been on it for too long. Yeah. I'm a bit like, I feel very connected to it. You know, I was kicking myself last night because I ended up having a text conversation with a friend in bed at like half 11. Yeah. And then I couldn't sleep and I was like, yeah, I'm an idiot. Like, I know I'm not going to be able to sleep now because I've been looking at, you know, yeah, yeah, this yeah. device and now I can't sleep. So normally before bed, I put, I'm such a geek, but I put my blue, blue, blue blocking glasses on if I'm watching TV you for like your... at least an hour or two before bed. And then so you put sleep. the blue Amazing. glasses on and the prayer gown. Play, prayer gown, blue blocking glasses. Yeah. <whistles> Who's better than me? Good to go. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> yeah, man. Living the dream up here. Um, okay. Um, at KD4WG, would you rather your ass be penetrated by your foot or a fist? So, okay. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I should read these before actually <laughs> saying it. <laughs> yeah, a fist, a uh, foot. I mean, yes. I, I, th- I think I'll go for the fist just because then it's not my... I don't have to have a deal with a knee injury because I don't know how my hip and knee would deal with my foot bending around there. Oh, like in your ass? Yeah. yeah I don't know if that's deep a... deep yoga stretch, that one, isn't it? The old... Uh... Which I am not penetrator squat as they I'm call not... it in the yoga terms yeah yeah I'll go fist everyone <laughs> fist that's really left an unsavoury taste fist. in my mouth that question yeah. I guess go congratulations <laughs> and uh, there you go uh, used to sell those <laughs> that's what used we to sell those uh, I told you the story <laughs> I told Please. you the story about mine and Berman's sex toy website before oh right? yeah you did yeah yeah you yeah, did yeah. Well, we used to sell we used fists to, we once, my friend uh, lost his job once and we we, yeah. we took him out to a comedy club Yeah. and we ended up sat at the front row, like front row of a comedy club, worst place you can be. And there was the comedian who was like the MC. He's now a really famous comedian at the time. He was pretty much unknown. He's like Geordie lad. Um, he's quite small. He had long hair and I can never remember his name. John Richard? Not, I think he lives near my house. He's not. He's, he's from Liverpool. I'm sorry. He's from Liverpool. John Richardson. Let, let's look John it Richardson. up. Yeah, let's. While I carry on, John Richardson. Yeah. So John Richardson starts roasting us. He's like, "Look at you! Look at the John free Bishop. Set. John Bishop. He was the he was the MC at the comedy club. Oh, how weird is this? Three... He lives. He lives next in my. He rides bikes. He lives here. No Does shit. He? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. In the All right, you can ask him he if you see him this. So he's, so he's, <laughs> he might remember actually, because it was actually kind of funny. So he's, um, he's like, oh, look at you three, fucking bunch of losers. We probably sat there in like, I don't know, whatever, scruffy clothes have been at the dirt jumps all day. And he's like, why, you know, what are you guys up to? And we were like, oh, our mate just lost his job. We've brought him here to try and cheer him up. And he was like, oh, amazing. Chatting to him, what did you do? To, you know, he's talking to him about that, and he's like, "So, what do you guys do? What do you, what do you lads do?" And my one friend, he goes, "Oh, I've got a motorbike trial shop." All right, cool. What about you? Looks at me. I got a sex toy website, and he was like, "Okay, all right." <laughs> uh, and he goes, he goes, "What's your best seller?" And I was like, "Massive rubber fists." And he, and was nothing. it? Well, no, I just made it up. We barely sold anything, dude. We sold like four items ever. <laughs> you know, the whole place is just like in stitches. Like, what the hell? And he just was like, okay. <laughs> like, what? Where do we go from here? <laughs> no way. Yeah. I was meant to be going Massive for a ride. I was meant to be organising a ride with him because my friend goes riding with him all the time and I'd just love to meet the dude. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's I'll sick. bring it up. Please do. How funny That'd would be that hilarious. be if he remembers? I mean, he's probably had so many people on the front row selling rubber, yeah. rubber fists. Oh, it must happen all the time. <laughs> funny. So yeah, that was uh, that was funny. Anyway, so yeah, fist. Um, there you go. When at Simon one seven nine, when making tea, do you put the milk in first or after? Sacrilege I always do after. It personally, first. I don't really ever drink tea because milk's for babies. But yeah. I do when I do put it in afterwards. After, obviously, you eat, then you can gauge the color of the tea. If you're in first, then you're pouring the tea in. You're not going to know what it's going to look like, what colour it's going to be, and ultimately, I'm not about that kind of life. I guess you're going to make just tea, keep make stirring, tea. couldn't you? In theory, huh? in yeah, theory, but... you could just keep oh, stirring, couldn't you? Matt, I'm sorry, we're posh up north, dude. We have the um, the tea, we have the loose tea. You see, 
So once you've made a part, that's what you've got. That's what you're working with. There's ah, no keep okay. stirring, make it stronger. None of that shit. Ah, okay. None of that shit. Don't have bags then, ever. Nah, no tea, no tea bagging up here, dude. That we is go, real. That is loose. real posh, dude. That is. That's yeah. like high end tea. Yeah, we're very posh. Very very posh up here. Mm. Very posh. So there Indeed, you go. Yeah. Um, at Onion Dude, classic. Uh, I love that scrunch name. or Onion fold. Fold. You know. First of all, you're a squirt. I squirt. First of all, I squirt. I don't fuck with fucking bits of cut down tree that's smearing feces into my skin. When you say you it like that, it makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was, I was gonna. I, I would fold. Yeah, def- definitely. Who's scrunching? Mad people. What a savage is scrunching? <laughs> Mad people with smelly fingernails. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Very. Wasteful people are scrunching. It's a good question, but it's a fantastic yeah. question. <laughs> some, been some real, real bangers today, hasn't there? Probably. Yeah. Uh, Andy Free MTB. What's the strangest thing anyone has given you as a gift? Oh, I was in the Philippines, right? I was in the Philippines, and I got to the end of ten days or whatever of riding. We raced over there, this and that. And they gave me a gift that was a miniature, a miniature model of myself. No joke, it's just wow. a miniature model of myself. You know, like one of those big head ones, the DK mode, big head yeah. model of myself. It had a little Troy Lee T-shirt on. It was wearing what I'd been wearing that week. Very strange that was. Wow, have you that still got weird, it? Isn't it? Yeah, mum. I gave wow. it to mum because I felt a bit weird about having a miniature big head version of myself yeah, in the house. That is pretty crazy. Mm. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head, I'll be honest with you. So I'm going to use one that my mum got not that a long time ago. My mum's sister, my auntie, bought her a... You know those where you put um, like incense, um, smelly, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sticks. And then you light a candle underneath. You've seen those? And it oh, like no. burns. Oh, no, I haven't, no. It was like that, but it was... You got these like little pellets, and it was a purple dragon... And you put the pellets up the dragon's nose and then you lit them and it basically looked like you had a snorting dragon. Dude, it was the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was <laughs> disgusting. It was I was kind of awful. feeling it. I was kind of, yeah, I was kind of like, yeah. And uh, you lit it and then the little smoke came out of it and it was like incense smell. And it, But it was just the ugliest, weird, like my mum, she's not like that at all. <laughs> but it's the weirdest gift to get my mum ever she's not into that sort of stuff she doesn't like dragons never has done oh, I love it was that just stuff li- I feel like she got the wrong gift for Christmas once to be honest I don't That's know who funny. it was for but... do your family do do gifts proper at Christmas I think we talked about it nah. before nah, nah we neither. don't do gifts we don't do it man my dad just gets the same it's a, it, the same thing every year for I think all of us and it's like a de-icer kit I think he forgets he gets gets it it's like de-icer <laughs> coolant and a window scraper Handy. he just gets that every year so i've got hundreds of the things really yeah like 35 of them my dad always, always gets my gets his partner um karen a just like loads of shit from poundland he just goes to poundland and it's a bit of a joke now but it's sort of getting a bit old it's like how many bits of crap can you buy someone every year so it looks like she's got loads of gifts but they're all a pound and it's like super glue <laughs> <Good laughs> sponges <idea. Good> <laughs> like they shit is stuff but all kind of useful you get so, 10 years in you're like yeah come on dude get a new job yeah Just all right dad on. we've done this one now get her an actual gift that she wants yeah um at two to one gone i know they can be the best jokes the ones that go on for the longest sometimes yeah they can they, they like can. come in waves of funny let's carry on yeah. i interrupted you at two to one racing if you were told it would be on this long would you have tried adding a structure to the show <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, we could have tried, dude, but yeah, well, there I, is some structure. We always do listener questions at the end. Yeah, I like, li- I, and I, it's the bit that I enjoy the most. We actually. always do listening and watching, ish. Yeah. What else do oh, we some do? What other things are we promising that we were going to do? Uh, charity uh, shoutouts. Yeah, that's. But to be honest, that's for the new show. We could have more structure if you wanted. I don't even know if people yeah. want structure or if they're just here for the ride, dude. I think just here for the ride. I've got, I, you know, I think for the new show though, I've been thinking, what happened Ooh. to the jet ski? It's just sat there. I haven't sold it. Or I just jumped around. It. Sorry there. I just jumped around. But I feel like, 
feel like there's a there's a there's a premise there, isn't there? Really, of something mm. like maybe you take the whatever seven hundred quid you get for the jet ski. I'll match it, and then we see who, who can get the weirdest item at the end after like six months or something, and keep selling up, trading, trading, see what we can get. Yeah, like each person's. So then, then that each person gets the thing for a bit. If yeah. You know what I mean. So like. So like after the jet ski, I give you yeah. seven hundred quid. <laughs> yeah. And then you add seven hundred quid, and then you buy something. Is that what you mean? Maybe I like. Yeah, I, I was thinking or like we just... so you, you do it like a southern version. Yeah. Okay. It's and then better. The, the northern like trading, we'll get some listeners involved. We'll look out for some bargains. So your aim is to make money though, because you're just a wheelie see... dealer, dude. Just to see it in let's say a year, six months, mm. can. Can that 700 quid be turned into a hot air balloon? Yes or no? Simple as that. Can that 700 okay, quid? Okay, interesting. Because, yeah, because my... Yeah, okay. Because my aim was never to make money on the jet ski. I don't know if you... I gathered. Yeah. So you're yeah. making this into like a making money competition. But not for the sake of making money. More for the sake of just seeing Story. where it can go. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? I think you should. I think everyone should put 700 quid into... Something Should we just get a pot and we'll just buy a hot air balloon? <laughs> <laughs> just buy a hot air balloon, dude. If we want one, we just buy one. Yeah. They're not too much money, are they? <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a premise there. We'll explore that a little bit yeah, more. Well, I Maybe... think, yeah, the red paper clip idea. Is that, that what you're yeah, kind of Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I hear you. Or it could be a literally, you know, we take you 700 quid. I don't know. Stick I give you my... half. <laughs> so it's like a podcast thing. Yeah. And then we start with 700 quid. I'm bad Let's... at selling stuff, dude. And you're good at selling stuff. So, what do yeah. you want? A fucking medal? What do I... <laughs> <laughs> You win. There you go. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's something no, there. Is. there. You're I, right. Yeah. I want. I want some. I want to try some random hobbies. That's what I'm thinking. I want. Okay, I want to buy got something. You. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I'm thinking. What can I trade? What can I get? What can I? What can I explore? Hobby. I like it. I like it. Yeah. 700 quid you can get involved in something quite low level like maybe buy a go-kart or something let's just keep go exploring a go-kart race. this yeah let's keep exploring this it's a good thought mm. what can we do with se- what can you do with 700 quid for a year See, my, how many my... sports can you do with 700 quid basically what's happened in my life is that I got to an age where I first made money and at that point I've frozen the value of money from that point onwards so let's say it was 15 or 16 I got my first paycheck and therefore the yeah. first money because I never got pocket money. So at 16, the value of a Coca-Cola can, that value is stuck in my head. Right. And like I can't... So 700 quid to me still seems like a lot of money. It's a lot of money. That seems like... It is a lot of money. Like fucking loads. I bought my first motocross bike for 700 quid. Yeah, and it was like a lot all of the money I saved for. I'm not making light of the amount of money, by the way, because mm. 700 quid is still a lot of money to anyone, you know. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you know I mean, a year of is, work still... for 700 it, quid and, and yeah, bought but, a motocross bike. But, but what might be quite kind of inspirational almost to people? It's like, right, what can you take that 700 quid and actually do with it? Like, mm. what, how much fun can you have with that 700 pounds? You don't always yeah, need the best of everything. You're right. Dude. You're right. You don't always need the best. Yeah, you're telling you know? me, dude. Yeah, exactly. You don't ski. need Look the best it. equipment. You sometimes you just need the cheapest one and just go enter something, go see how it goes. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd enter like a 700 quid, I don't know, something quite dangerous like paragliding competition, for example. Probably going to spend no. a little bit more money than that. But yeah, that's true. there's something there. There's like a there is you know, something mini there. Let's explore that thought. Maybe, maybe some there. listeners can have an, uh, like give us their ideas as well for what we could do. Because right now that 700 quid's kind of floating around, you know. Or if I yeah. can get more for it. I mean, I could. I think if you were going to make it into a money making one, it's coming up into summer, and I could make that jet ski work, and I could sell it for more if I was mm. a smart guy. Yeah, you could. All right, there's something there. There's an idea something there. It's what can we thing. do? What can we do for mm. a very limited amount of budget mm. that makes funny content, good I like content? It. It's a good idea. Get get people involved in a little bit. Good idea. For sure. Could just go on holiday. Could do, eh? Just forget about it. Mobaya! <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we didn't get many listener questions. I think it's because of the time I put it up. It only went up. <clears throat> it went up last night, actually. But yeah, not not as many listener questions as normal. I think people may be a little bit like, 
Sick move it. on, guys. It's enough. It's the last episode. I don't know. We're done. Yeah. Um. So there we go. There we go. Well, thanks, dude. It's been a great episode. It's been alright, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been alright. The last <laughs> episode, a bit of a wet fart at the end of 40, diff- 40 other ones, but let's be honest, literally nothing's changing. We're just doing it under a different name. And I'm are we going to tell people the name or are we going to keep it? Nah, let's keep it a secret. Let's keep them on the edge of their seats. Okay. Tune in when next it... week for... Are we doing it next week? <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Probably should, shouldn't we? Just carry on. Fucking right. Maybe not. Maybe have a sabbatical, especially after that poor showing for the listener questions <laughs> <laughs> catch you next week everyone ciao yeah thank you everyone again really appreciate it thank you to <laughs> wait <laughs> uh, I gotta say it. thank you to everyone who's helped with this lockdown companion thank you to the show sponsors we've had Focus uh, who else we had Lo- uh, King Good we've had Stands we've had Works uh, thank you to everyone that's helped with the show Primeval Illustration all of the guests we've had, Spikeball Chris, uh, Matt McDuff, I was going to make a list and I'm really sorry I haven't, John O'Jones, Deaconator, Mopper, um, Bernard Kerr, Gulovich, who? Jeff Gulovich, Brendan Gullivich. Fairclough, Brendan Danny Fairclough. McCaskill, The Rock, Danny, Danny McCaskill, The Rock, Duncan Boris. Shaw, Ali Clarkson, so many guests, it's kind of crazy. Dude, there's so Brian many more than that as well, yeah. Yeah, there are so many more than that. And thank you to everyone that's helped. It's really, really appreciated. It's been so much fun and things aren't stopping. We're just going to rename, basically. But lockdown companion. We're out of lockdown. We're flying. It's out. Spread your wings, dude. Spread your wings. Catch you in a bit. Spread your wings. Peace. Peace. So weird. Never stops being weird.